Hey everybody, welcome back to the first dugout. I hope you're having a great day. Um, it's release day for kind of a unique product. Um, but I thought this was supposed to be online only, but it turns out it's also available at uh, local shops. 2024 Tops Heritage. This is actually the mini ed edition. Uh, for those of you who may not be aware, uh, Topps Heritage is, this year is based on the 1975 Topps design. And one of the unique things about 1975 Topps is they also had a mini version that was sold separately in packs. Um, so they've actually made a version of that. Uh, my hope is that this is kind of a one-off, kind of to keep the homage to 1975. And they don't do this next year with the 76 edition which um honestly is one of the in my opinion one of the worst designs of the 70s um if not the worst it's definitely up there um anyway uh this should have 10 uh 10 cards per pack and i think 12 packs per box yep 12 yep 12 packs per box um, in each box, you should get three numbered parallels, uh, and there are short print variations. I think the first 100 are short printed as well. Um, you can get autographs, uh, and they got some unique inserts. Uh, you can get some of the same inserts that you get in regular Heritage, but there are some, some that are unique. Um, there's no, um odds or official checklist for mini outside of the regular tops um top set uh, um but it's all 500 cards just like just like before again kind of keeping an homage to the 75 design but you there you can see it's kind of a regular uh regular uh um mini card here's a makes me kind of see the size difference it's not too much different but it is slightly smaller um so they kind of kept uh kept it unique to uh 75 so let's go said let's see if we get anything kind of interesting honestly i might try to collect the whole set of this uh, just because 70, I love 75. 75 has some of my favorite rookie cards of the 70s. George Brett, certainly uh, uh, Jim Rice, and then, uh, of course, Robin Yount. So here's the black parallel, and the black parallels are numbered in this 5 out of 50. And I think this is the most common parallel. Uh, there are ones that are even... Uh, lower numbered so that's kind of something to watch out for that's one thing where why i thought this was kind of a fun would be a fun buy especially at um i think on the tops website these are available for 50 bucks i paid 55 at my lcs mealy pops um and i've seen these anywhere from like 50 to 70 online so um let's see if we can get anything else as we dig through this, and we're now on to number two. We got Owen White. Bryce Miller, Daisabel Hernandez, Mason Wynn. We'll sleeve up that one. And Kevin Newman. And Kevin Newman is a is under a hundred. So we're gonna watch out for that a little bit just to see if that's uh one of the one of the other things in here they do carry a different print number than uh than the regular base so i'm gonna assume that those are those are short print but mason Wynn, i'm gonna go ahead and sleeve up as well i'm gonna sleeve up the some of the better more interesting rookies just to kind of keep them Top loaded. Yeah, 
excuse me, I'm just trying to look at the photo code numbers. Yeah, they are different. So for the ones that are under 100, so something to look out for. Let's keep at it. Pack number three. I'd like to get this done probably in less than 15 minutes. There's a Quinn Priester. Uh, World Series 2023. Ooh, Jordan Lawler. Bobby Miller and Alika Williams. All right, well, we will sleeve up that Jordan Lawler. We'll go ahead and put, we'll put the better rookies up in the background. So that way it's got a little something. All right, pack number four. Well, this is one of our unique pieces. Jose Rodriguez, Novelli Marte, Tyler Soderstrom. Jacob DeGrom, and 1975 Fall Classic, Carlton Fisk. And these are one of the unique um, inserts for, for the mini. Soderstrom is worth, worth a sleeve. All right, on to the middle stack. We got another parallel. Looks like the parallels kind of come up on the top. Jared Triolo. Mike Yastrzemski, Burleson, and Cole Calhoun. For the Guardians, numbered 28 out of 50. I will say the condition on these is... Which you would expect if you were actually opening up 1975 packs in 1975. They're a little bit chippy. Um, centering's kind of iffy. The corners are meh. So it's just something to kind of make note of. This is going to be a condition-sensitive set. And at the same time, they really didn't fix... One of the issues with regular heritage this year, which was the backs are just difficult to read. There's Henry Davis. He's not doing so great, but I'll uh and Sedane Raffaella. So we're doing all right with the getting some of the better, more solid rookies. Oh, we got something here. Jacob, Brett Beatty, there's Brady Singer, Shohei on the Dodgers, Joe Ryan, and we got a Bo Bichette. I think this is an image variation. It sure is. Bo Bichette, image variation. You can tell because it says image right there, right above the, the number. Unfortunately, you can kind of see here what the issue is, is that these back corners just in part because they put the more most interesting stuff right on the on the last um, card in the in the pack it's just gonna get manhandled all right so there we have it let's get on to the last pack of the middle stack we got a nice short print variation, um, low numbered short print. Let's see what else 
Sabe, Josh Young, and Mackenzie Gore. And that happens to be a short print as well. I think you only get two of these per box. So they might be worth holding on to just given the rarity, depending on how this set ultimately sells. So this should be our last numbered card. Let's see if we can get something other than a black. No, we got another black. Johan Rojas. Jose Tena. Francisco Alvarez, Hassan Kim, and four. Let's see if it's a decent team for the Braves. Austin Riley. Hey, I'll take it. Number 32 out of it. Oh, look at how jacked up that corner is. Ugh. That's too bad. Ugh. Well. Oh, well. Number 32 out of 50. So all 500 cards are in parallel versions. So these will be semi-tough hits. So kind of keep that in mind. But hey, we, we got a decent one plus uh, plus the image variation. Let's see if we can get maybe... Uh, a white border. We got a new age performers insert. Yoshida, Everson Pereira, Spencer Horowitz, Osvaldo Beto, Lamonte Wade, and new age performers Nolan Arenado. All right. Looks like we got a white border. This one looks like it has a ton of cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, look at that. We got an we got an autograph. Emerson Hancock for the Mariners. Hey. I don't think that these are guaranteed per box. I think it's like one per with the Gavin Lux white border. Those are not numbered. But hey, we got we got an Emerson Hancock auto. So that's one thing. I wasn't expecting these to have autos, especially with three numbered cards per... Um, but it looks like you get a couple of autos per case, I think. And there's only 10 boxes per case, so you've got a decent shot. Hey, I'm, I am definitely not complaining about that. Rookie auto. All right, anything else? Let's see, last pack. Anyway, fun rip. I am not complaining whatsoever. So there you have it, folks. That's a, that's a box of 2025 Topps Heritage, the mini edition. Anyway, so we got, um, you know, you get two short, low-numbered short prints. You get, like, a white border. Uh, we got a nice... Decent stack of rookies. Uh, we didn't get an Ellie or uh, what I was hoping for, Sal Fralick, but we got a Raffaella, Henry Davis. Jordan Lawler is probably the best one um, that I got. But, you know, in terms of the low-numbered stuff, we got three black parallels, all numbered out of 50. Austin Riley, Cole Calhoun, and Wade Meckler. Uh, Austin Riley is definitely the best one out of that. Um... And then we got the image variation for Bo Bichette and the Emerson Hancock rookie auto. Base rookie auto, not numbered or anything, but hey, I will take an auto out of Heritage any day of the week. That's a great $50 spent. Um, not too shabby there. Um, what do you think about Topps Mini? Is it, 
uh, Tops Heritage Mini. Is that something that you're looking to, to pick up? Feel free to leave a comment below. Go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button right down there. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you later.